Because after 1971, what will happen? Children would have been born here. Can your lordships imagine the, the, the enormity of the problem? Those children born here would seek protection of three. Where will they go? So that's, I don't want to enter into that. It's another, uh, another area altogether. So that and takes care. Equally, there is substance in this grievance that on the one hand, we don't have an open border. Yeah. We do not say that everybody, anybody from Bangladesh can come and settle down wherever they want to yeah, in, yeah, in, yeah. In, in India. At the same time, if we don't take action Correct. to curb illegal uh, migration, then it causes all these problems in India. The feeling in India that look, the, the infrastructure is limited. Absolutely. Education is limited. Absolutely. Our public hospitals are limited. Yeah. We can't allow for an unlimited influx. Absolutely. No, no, you're right. And this is the problem. That's Therefore, we passed that order which we did this afternoon. It's the what are you doing today? It's the executive that is to blame, Alas. There's no doubt about it. And right, right from 85. And we create problems for ourselves. And then what happens is, Malaj, it becomes the other versus us. This is, the pro this is the heart of the problem. It is no longer a cultural issue. It's a political issue. Others versus us. Who gets power? Why do you give them electoral rights? This is the problem. Don't give them the right to vote. So therefore, you in the process are creating divisions in society, whereas your preamble talks about fraternity. Now, what is fraternity, Malaj? Live and let live is Article 21. Be and let be is secularism. That's what it is. And that's fraternity. And the entire argument on the other side is countering the concept of fraternity in the preamble. So, Sibyl, how do you, I mean, we just, it's, uh, this is not a question in the sense to tell you that you're wrong on this point, but just a little assistance. How do we sort of conceptualize subsection 2 of section 6A and subsection 3? All right. Subsection 2 deals with people who are in the electoral role as on 1-1-1966. Right, right. They're all post-1951 people, right. but who are in the electoral role as of 1-1-66. Right. That's why uh, subsection 2 refers to the electoral role of 1-1-66, 66 electoral role. Right, right. The subsection 3 covers people who are not in the electoral role of 1966. Correct. They came in later until 71. Correct. So, what was the reason for protecting those whom they protected first in subsection 2? Was it that parliament wanted to protect people who are now they have come on the electoral role as on 1166? So, we say, all right, you have now been assimilated. We have already, whether you are legal, illegal, we sort of uh, make a blanket. Confirmment of citizenship. What was the what, what, why these two bifurcations into subsection two and subsection? I will try and answer that, Mother. There are two reasons for it. Number one, even those whose names were in the electoral roll, people objected to them. People objected to them, saying they are actually they got themselves into the electoral roll. They did not come here prior to 1966. That's why the whole NRC exercise has taken place. And the end of the NRC exercise, do you know what the result is? Your Lordship asked that question, they should have told you the answer. The answer is, today there are 19.06 lakh people who are left out of the, and whose appeals are pending. That's all. And the majority of them are Hindus. So it's not as if nothing happened after 71. This exercise has been done and done in eight years, Murad. Murad, that's why Justice Gogoi said, Everybody will have to produce the legacy uh, tree, legacy data. Who was your great grandfather? Even those whose names were on the electoral roll. So in the NRC, every citizen, every, every person in Assam had to face the test. So in fact, from a statutory standpoint, what my Lord is saying is right. From the actual standpoint, it's just the other way around. Because there were thousands of objections. Well, somebody didn't have a school certificate. Well, who gave a school certificate at that point in time? Then you had to show, no, 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 my great-grandfather lived in that village. Then there had to be a linkage document. Then you had to produce somebody from a nearby village or the village in which you lived. And he came and made a statement, no, 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 his grandfather was living there. So, Malaz, it, is, it, it may be as a matter of law for you to say those were, that's not factually correct. 
where the whole NRC exercise was that, that all this may be wrong. And it was monitored by this court. And it ultimately found that the majority of the 19 lakhs were Hindus. 1600 crores were spent in that exercise. So the point that I'm making is, Malaj, while your lordships ask me that question, the factual situation is in fact just the opposite. Because I don't want to bring any politics into it, because everybody objected to a particular, that he doesn't belong here. Of course, that exercise is still going on. <laughs> but Malaj, therefore, it would be dangerous, and this is my respectful submission, to move into areas where it's difficult to come to a judicial determination. That's why 6A was a matter of policy. It was legislative policy pursuant to a political accord which taught to maintain a status quo subject to processes for those who came between 66 and 71. And if they do not formulate how 29 has been violated, why would your lordships go into it? So Mother, that's really the answer to, the, to, your, to your lordship's question. That nobody, everybody was questioned. It just so happened that once you're in the electoral roll, then you have a leg to stand on. But that was not the end of the story. It's not as if anybody, everybody who was on the electoral roll was accepted as a citizen. And then, Malaz, the argument that they owed allegiance to Pakistan, I don't understand that argument at all, Malaz. When I am born, Malaz, Malaz do, I, do I have an oath of allegiance to give? Or if somebody is granted citizenship, well, I, people don't give the oath of allegiance when people came from... Actually, the upheaval, actually, as a matter of history, when did the upheaval start taking place in East Pakistan? Upheaval started taking place in East... No, no, no. And the 66, the, 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 I'm talking well, it about is the leading ongoing. up to Bangladesh. Lord knows, well, after the Bhutto election in particular, but the fact of the matter is that those belonged to an entirely different cultural tradition. This was all part of Bengal, Malaz. This is East Bengal and West Bengal. So all this, all this is the, is the oppressive policies of Western Pakistan, so to say, or now Pakistan. Right? And, and, and what is happening there to the Hindus today was sought to be done to the Bengalis. It's as simple as that. Who would want to stay there? So would you will have people in India yeah. who have been otherwise recognized as foreigners by the Foreigners' Tribunal's order, who cannot be granted Indian citizenship, yes. and yet who cannot be deported, though they are aliens. That's correct. So these are all very difficult aspects Miller, to analyze and come to a judicial verdict. The right to citizenship is the right to have rights. So Miller, this, this takes, and then Miller, somebody else in West Bengal or another state can say, you give me the same rights, but they cannot say, now you, 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 you declare this uh, as, as uh, illegal and therefore, uh, where will they go? And Miller, the, the commitment to fence Bangladesh was made in 1985 itself. So 15 years and 23 years, 38 years have passed. The fencing has not happened. Should have happened. And this creates more problems for India, as your Lordship said. But the impact of it, because they came this side, the impact of it was what happened in Assam later. But it's bound to limit resources. They were claiming that their education should be free. And well, then what happened? The tea plant, you see, the tea planters well, came here much before 1951. You know, Operation Searchlight yes. is initiated by General Yahya Khan on the 25th of March. Yes. Now, interestingly, Section 6A, 25th of March 1971, is not the commencement of the provision. Mm. It's the end of the provision. End of the provision. Yes, sir. Right? Yes. So, if at all one would anticipate that the influx would take place around or after 25th of March 1971. It didn't, it didn't. What the statute does is to go back five years to 66, 1166. Yes. yes. What is the reason for that 1166? 
Malas, as I told you, but 66 because of the electoral roll. After that, Malas, no, the electoral roll of the electoral roll of 1166, yeah. which was used for conducting the elections of 67, yeah. covered all those people who had entered India prior to 1166. Yes, yes. Right? Yes. That is covered by 6A2. Yes. Just see how it is. I'll just tell you how 6A is worded. 6A2. All persons of Indian origin who came before the 1st of January 66 to Assam from the specified territory, right. now bracket, very important, including such of those whose names were included in the electoral rules for the purpose of the general election to the House of the People held in 1967. Correct. That is to say, the 1967 election was held on the basis of the electoral roll of 1166. Correct. Yes. That covered people who covered who had come in prior to 1166. People may have come prior, but they may not be in the electoral roll. You are right. I am not talking the exclusion. Yes. But 6A2 yes. covers people post 1166. Yes, yes. Right? I can understand 6A2. 6A2 says, whoever now we have included in our electoral role, we give them citizenship. Therefore, anybody whose name was in the electoral role of 1166 got the benefit of citizenship, but under which provision? This was all part of Bengal, Malats. This is East Bengal and West Bengal. As we said, this will result in a group of stateless citizens. Total, total stateless. The joint communique, which was issued by uh, Sheikh Mujibur Rahman Correct. and the then Prime Minister, Correct. clearly says that Bangladesh will take back people who had come in after 25th That's of March 1970. That's correct. That's so, so Malas, you cannot, as a matter of constitutional law, Malas, and uh, again, if you... In fact, may I tell you, Lordship, another thing. While this agitation was taking place in Assam, many of the people, whether Bengalis, or others moved out of Assam because they were fearing that they might be killed or hurt. Many families actually migrated to other states. So, in fact, the migration to some of the other states, Mother, is also attributable to what the uncertainty that prevailed in the state of Assam from 1978 right till uh, 85. And then, Mother, as your Lordship knows, Meghalaya, Mizoram, and others. So, th therefore, the Muslims would, would, the minorities would not have gone to Mizoram, Meghalaya, and other places, Mother. So, it seemed that the population here increased in terms of percentages. A citizenship is the right to have rights, 